Thank you for tuning in to Big City Chronicles. Surge here with the amazing, talented, and gorgeous Dawn Wells. How are you doing today, Dawn? I'm just fabulous. You look terrific, may I say. Well, very You may good. say. Why, thank you. That's the best thing I've heard all day. Yeah, yeah. You do. You look great. Thank you. You look amazing, i got to tell you. Even, even better than your Marianne days from Gilligan's Island. But I'm still alive, you know. I'm on the last lap of my life, and I'm going on forever. Uh, that's a, that's the attitude. That's the attitude to have. I mean, to, we hope you do go on forever. I mean, you uh, clearly have quite a legacy from your days at uh, uh, on Gilligan's and Island. And you don't have any idea when you do a show that they made so much fun of. It's our 50th anniversary this year. Never been off the air. 30 languages all over the world. There's no time dating it. No cars that tell you it's 1965 or something. And and it's a you know it's seven misfits trying to get along, and that's what the world's doing today. Yes, really? that's true. It, yeah. it is sort of like mm -hmm. a, analogous to, to life mm -hmm. in the world today. And it's interesting you point out timeless. And, and also that you mentioned it, that people had made fun of it. There was an early criticism. Stupidest Silly. show they ever saw. It won't last 20 minutes. We haven't been off the air in 50 years. 30 languages, so you know, it was silly, though. It was fun. Well, you never know, too, right, about some of these things in the, in the entertainment industry, whether something's going to make it, something's going to be big. But I think part of it, the, the plots were silly, but the cast was incredible, I thought. There was a really camaraderie between us, wonderful comedy. Uh, it, it was cast brilliantly, and I think that's half of it. If there's a chemistry amongst you, it passes on to the screen, I think. Oh, quite clearly. No, I mean, I think, like you said, it's sort of the, the, the sincerity, the camaraderie, yeah. and the timelessness, too, of it. Yep, and the clothes didn't tell you what year it was. <laughs> and you know, of course, uh, uh, people have commented, uh, have mentioned many times about the whole like sort of uh, 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 Ginger and Marianne kind of kind of thing. And I noticed that you even like sort of hearkened on that in your in your uh, memorabilia you have here. There's always a poll: a Ginger or Marianne vote. Always, I, not when the show was on the air, but afterwards, it's just built and built and built. And of course, they always say Marianne because they're talking to me. If they were talking to Ginger, they'd say Ginger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd have been your friend, I think. Isn't that amazing? Well, if you're a 14-year-old boy, Ginger might have been high maintenance. Mm. I don't know. Well, we definitely think, you know, Marianne is our pick. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Well, we also noticed that because of that, so I think uh, that, that polarity of the Ginger Marianne thing, we noticed that you thought about that quite a bit, which, and, and your thoughts turned into paper when you put together this book. Tell well, us about your I, book. I think it's important because I think today the world is really moving fast. Parents have a hard time. Where are their kids? Everything's electronic. And Mary Ann was a good girl. Common sense is what this book's about. And it's, it's, it's really good for, I'd say, 12 to 20. Let the mother read it with her daughter. Let the grandmother. It's manners. If you started a job, finish it. If you fail, fail again until you learn something. I think we just kind of need to put it down. It's not about a $500 purse or Miley Cyrus on the piano or the Kardashians. Get back to the basics and that's not easy. You know, there's mixed families living together, divorced people living together, and, and, and how, do you, how do you teach the kids what's important? And Gilligan's Island is a pretty good example. There's no bullying. Gilligan's the one that got us stranded. We all treated each other with respect and that's kind of what this is about. And so where can people find this book? Well, you can go to dawnwells.com. I think uh, Amazon has it. Facebook has it. Mm -hmm. And there was another there was another site that um, that you mentioned earlier, oh, um, that Facebook, fa it was at Facebook dot com slash the real Marianne <laughs> slash the real Marianne. No, Facebook dot com Dawnwell slash the real Marianne. Gotcha. I think that's right. Okay. Well, make sure we print that we below. We didn't have computers sure. on the island, you know. <laughs> it's really hard for me to catch up. The, but the professor sort of definitely crafted several uh, clever devices there over time. And couldn't even fix a hole on the boat. <laughs> uh, you know, that is, well, that's sort of like the, you know, the, the, the forever mystery of the show. Yes, we're still there, stranded somewhere. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Do you have anything else you feel like sharing with the audience? Are there any other projects coming up? Oh, gosh, yes. I do theater all the time. I've got, they're oh, booking me for Lion in Winter. I just finished uh, Love Lost and What I Wore in Laguna. Uh, I'm busy. Theater is my favorite thing. Wow. I was trained on the stage, so I'm looking forward to the next play. That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Dawn, for joining us at Big City Chronicles. And until next time, make a difference where you can. Oh, that's very nice. Thanks for having me. Aloha.